today we'll be taking a look at projection height and projection angle as they apply to shooting a basketball. Let's begin by defining our terms. Projection height is the height at which projectile motion begins relative to the reference frame, such as the basketball court or the hoop. Projection angle is the angle of the initial path of projectile motion from the horizontal plane. <laughs> In basketball, projection angle is especially important as high projection angles are required to shoot over defenders and for the ball to approach the basket at a steep enough angle to miss the rim. <laughs> what does the science say? Okazaki and Rodaki found in a 2012 study that shot accuracy, ball release height, and release angle all decreased with increasing shot distance, whereas ball release velocity increases with increasing shot distance. Brancasio reported in a 1981 study that increasing release height allows the player to minimize the shooting angle and use less force as a result. This happens because an increase in release height steepens the downward trajectory of the ball when it reaches the hoop, given that all other variables remain constant. Viv's going to demonstrate a medium projection height by taking a shot without jumping. Taylor's going to demonstrate a high projection height by taking a normal jump shot. <laughs> Taylor's going to take a really inefficient shot and use a really high projection angle to make a short shot. Taylor's going to demonstrate a layup, which has a really high projection angle. Taylor's going to show us how good she is at missing by taking a low shot at the front of the rim. She's a pro. Matt's going to demonstrate low projection height by taking his best shot. This shot doesn't look too bad at first, but the problem is that a defender would be easily able to block it by jumping to block her. So, the jump shot that Taylor did was a little bit better because it gets you a higher projection height and an easier time getting over tall defenders. Matt's granny shot really wasn't going to cut it because a defender standing right in front of him is going to take it like maybe in the belly. Um, then Taylor's other shots um, the high shot might be useful when you're facing a really tall defender and you don't have a chance to jump very high because it'll get it over them, but it'll be kind of hard to get it to the net because it'll take a lot of force to get there. Um, the layup, pretty optimal. You're really close to the net, so you don't want to shoot it too far forward, so you need a really high projection angle to make it. And then the low shot off the back of the rim, maybe if you're really far away, it'd be good but it's going to have a hard time going into the net because it's going to have such a, a shallow angle that it might bounce off the rim. And <laughs> <laughs> she turned it off with that too. <laughs>